everyone. I just wanted to show you my gorgeous A5 writing case from Van der Speck. I got it for my birthday a few days ago and I haven't found any videos on YouTube about the Van der Speck writing case so I wanted to make one. Um, I apologise for the sort of setting of this video. Um, my room is very dark and I wanted to do this in natural light so the corner of my bed is the only place with enough light to do it. So. So it's the A5 writing case, which is one of the more traditional options from Van der Speck. If you saw their old website, the one without the prices, without the online shop, it was just sort of like a an online catalogue of what they supply. The writing case was one of the things that they used to sell um, before the um, binders really became famous and popular among the um, sort of filofax community and it's absolutely gorgeous so obviously it's different from the ring binders in that it doesn't have any rings but they also make a writing case that's a4 that does have rings and they make various different writing cases on their old website um, which I'll link below and I'll also link their new website which is their web shop um, so the old website has various different ones, like for example ones that zip up all the way round and I think a lot of them are sort of like the Touch Me range, they're sort of pre-made and then they sell them but then they make a few where you can customise them like this one. So this is a custom, you can choose the interior and exterior leathers and the interior and exterior stitching. You can also ask for, um, for example, if you want a different pocket layout or something like that. Um, so um, that's all, um, I think you can order it from Petra if you email her and I'll, um, when you click through to the web shop you can see the contact button uh, or the contact address for Van der Speck to discuss orders with Petra or ask if, if it's possible to make something. So. This is the standard um, layout for the writing case. I didn't want to customise it really because it's perfect the way it is for my needs. Um, one way that I might customise it now is to put a clasp around it, which is possible. I think I've seen that. Uh, at least I've seen that in their um, Nomad, their version of the Traveller's Notebook. So um, I think that is possible. And that would be handy if you were throwing this in and out of your bag a lot or wanted to make sure it keeps closed. So um, the leather on the outside is gorgeous. It's the Janet Leather Yellow. So um, there is the Janet Leather Original and the reason we call it Janet Leather is because Janet found it in the shop um, so they um, named it after her and but the colours themselves have numbers so if you go onto the Van der Speck um, web shop you'll be able to see the numbers so that you can order them and so they used to have the original colour which was the sort of tan brown and now they've got four new colours um, well they're not very new they've been out for a while but um, they're the this colour which is yellow although it's not really yellow and I'll explain why in a minute uh, they've got olive green burgundy and black so this isn't really yellow I mean obviously there's different shades of yellow but for me this is like a very light tan and I don't think the camera is really capturing the colour properly um, it depends on what lighting it's in um, on the screen it's looking a bit more orange than in real life but um, I wouldn't call it a yellow because it's it's not like a sunny yellow or anything it's it's more like a honey it's like a caramel or a light tan and I know that when it ages it's going to deepen into that beautiful tan colour that I love um, the reason why I didn't get the original Janet leather is because that is very prone to staining um, even with water um, I'm just trying to look around my room for my uh, I've got a Janet leather fly leaf um, I want to show a comparison but I may actually save that for the video I'm going to do in a few months time where um, I compare all the binders and things I've got in Janet Leather and actually I've got a lot of samples I want to make a video comparing the different types of leather 
so um, as I can't find my fly leaf at the moment I won't show you but um, it's definitely if you know the original Janet leather colour this is definitely lighter in shade but I think it's going to age and patina to a similar colour as the Janet leather although apparently these leathers are coated so they might not age very quickly I'm hoping it doesn't stain as much as the Janet leather I don't mind patina but I don't like staining so I'm hoping that it's going to stain uh, age more gracefully so um, that's the exterior it's quite unusual for me to get a plain cover in the past I've had ostrich um, print leather it's it's still made of cowhide uh, leather but um, it's the ostrich pattern on it because I thought that it would be quite boring if it was a plain leather all on this big expanse but um, it's actually really really beautiful um, and I do love it but next time I'm thinking of getting purple ostrich um, on the outside because I do want another um, writing case I want this one to be for work and I want one for home um, but I'll be doing I'll be ordering another one um, maybe at Christmas so um, it's absolutely gorgeous it's more sort of it can it can differ in colour from sort of honey yellow to an orange to a caramel to a light brown and that is why it's so interesting and so beautiful it's definitely showing up on the camera as more orange than it looks like in real life there is the interior um, so it's the 19 turchies which isn't the uh, napper turchies it's the smooth wrinkled very smooth very I don't like the word soft because I associate soft with squidgy but it's smooth that's the way I describe it um, and it's the standard card layout which I really really love because I don't need all the credit card slots of the normal binders uh, especially in the A5 I prefer this sort of way of accessing bigger pieces of paper um, there are three card slots here which are great for like business cards or things like that um, so that's useful and then there's a secretarial pocket here which I love I love secretarial pockets I much prefer them to those ones that are fixed at the top and you can only access here as I find these ones very tight and so you can't really fit A5 paper in very easily um, but the secretarial pocket is fantastic I, um, I spoke with someone who has a writing case and I asked her how many sheets of paper you can fit behind here before it starts to really buckle and she said maybe 10 um, but I'm I'm intending to make a sort of cardboard insert here um, out of like scrapbooking card to be able to put more paper in and I'll show you that when I make it this is the notepad that came with it it's not actually fixed in at the moment because I've been playing around but um, it's got the same leather around the top which is really beautiful it's a very nice touch um, and it's the van spec I wouldn't say own brand because I don't know if, if they buy it in from somewhere else and put their own cover on um, it's plain paper and this is so smooth it's one of the, the smoothest papers I've ever felt and I love smooth paper and I don't want to use it because it's just so beautiful it's it's gorgeous and it would be lovely for writing letters which I know the person I spoke to um, has used it for and it comes with this um, guide this line guide so that you can put it under the paper to um, use it to uh, write neatly because I don't write neatly on plain paper so you can put it under the paper and it shows through so that you can write neatly I'll just show you how that looks it's not thin paper but it's it shows through I don't think you can see it in the camera or well, you might be able to a tiny bit and um, it shows through just enough for you to be able to um, to see the lining on the bits that you can't see is this sort of I don't know how to describe it it's an artificial um, material but you don't see it so that's okay but the stitching is in this 
uh, the colour that you choose so that's a nice touch they've not just made it sort of a cheap standard um, uh, pocket thing here they've actually done it in the um, the colour that you choose here so you know that it's still customised still handmade so here's a couple more um, notebook inserts that fit in this is the Rhodia number 16 so if you know about Rhodia number 16 notepads you know that they're not A5 size paper the the height of the notebook and the width corresponds to A5 which is 21 by oh I've forgotten Do I, uh, not 21 to, um, 10 and a half Ten and a half. I'm trying to find it on here. Fourteen point eight by twenty-one. Oh, it is. Oh, anyway, if you know what A5 paper is, you know what this, the dimensions of this is. I messed that up. But um, Rhodia pads themselves, the paper because it it tears off here, here, it's that much shorter than normal A5, which is the same size as this. So even though the the perforated part of the Van der Speck notebook notepad is slimmer, the pages that come out of Van der Speck ones aren't true A5. So if you're buying replacement notebooks for this, and I think you can ask for replacement notebooks that are identical to the one that came with Van der Speck, I think you can order them from Van der Speck, be aware of that. If you buy A5 notepads with the perforated section at the top that doesn't come off, it will stick out the top of your your writing case, which is fine by me. This is going to be a workhorse. This isn't going to be a pretty thing. So I don't mind if it's got things sticking out the top, um, but that's something to take into consideration. So this is a secretarial pocket. And so one of the things that you can use it for is not just notebooks that load from the top but notebooks that load from the side so here is an A5 notebook these are note pads because they're ones that you take a paper out of or you're supposed to this is a notebook it's a Leuch term 1917 um, an A5 and it can load from the side so it does fit in I tried it last night I posted a picture to the Van der Speck Facebook group and it it works it's pretty tight but that's good because it means it won't fall out and um, you do have to quite tough <laughs> force it in it's quite like ah, am I gonna break it am I gonna split the stitching and you do have a sort of gap at the bottom here and maybe at the side where because of the thickness of the cover it doesn't quite fit in snugly like the thinner um the thinner back cover of the uh, van der Speck notepad does but this will um this will fit and so you can then use this as a notebook cover not just a writing case which is really exciting because van der Speck make the codex which is the the cover that is designed for the Hobonichi cousin and they also make one for the Hobonichi Teco or Techo or however you pronounce it but this writing case can therefore be used to hold a slimmer notebook and by slimmer it's not that slim but it's uh, slimmer than a Hobonichi cousin so therefore you can use this to hold one of these books if you use a moleskin, they're narrower. They're about, I don't know, a centimetre or a centimetre and a half narrower than an A5, so take that into consideration. But it does fit in, and I think it looks really smart, really great. So there you go, that's an option for you, and I think it would look fantastic. And you can fit a slim notebook in each side, so you could fit a slim one on the left here and a slim one on the right here but you would be covering these pockets so that is uh, just some information for you and a review so thank you for watching bye